Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and I have a little live uh, craft haul for you today. Um, I wasn't planning on going to Tuesday morning, but I went. And so I thought I would share what I bought. I'm really surprised at how many really good things they have there lately and not just for home decor. So as people are getting here and getting settled, I'd like to say hi. If you're watching this as a replay, please feel free to do things like um, Tweet me if you have a comment or give some hearts. I see some hearts bubbling up right now. That's really cool. And uh, if you're watching it on replay on catch, please subscribe so that you'll see them when they come out. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right in um, and I will show you what I got. So the first thing I got is actually not necessarily crafty, but it is. And for $2, I got a whole package of Wonder Wedges. Um, and I use these a lot if you are... Um, working on stamps with acrylic paint. So the Di Dilusions paint I've been working with lately. And I go pounce, 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 pop, 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 right onto my stamps. So I go through them kind of a lot. And the next thing I got, which also is not necessarily crafty, but it is for me, are some of the Wonder Puffs. Now, normally these are used to exfoliate your face, but they've got an incredible texture on them. Mm. So I like them on polymer clay, especially on the backs of something when I mold something and I just don't want it to be plain or have my fingerprints. I'll just press a little bit of a sponge puff into it and it gives it a pretty little kind of bumpy texture. So I like this and of course there'll be enough for my face and also, um, you know, doing some tags, like doing some little scrumbling techniques. So, now to get into kind of the crafty business, right, Carol? Like, there's a, always a way of, like, using non-traditional items. So, these are from Dear Lizzie, and they're gold foil stickers, and there's six pages of them. So, as you may know, foiling is still huge in the crafting industry. There's just a lot of that gold foil look, and for $1.49 you get all of these different um, stickers. And there are circles and hearts and then the alphabet ones too. There's six pages of them, there's 208. And I thought these would go great on my tags for my one little tag craft challenge. And if you know anything about me, you know that we've been doing a tag a day and we have been creating all kinds of fun mixed media art and I can always use a sticker. So that's how that goes. Um, now, in that same vein, these are from Prima Marketing. And they are, it's, it's kind of like an interesting collection because there's a stamp and then all of these little kind of buttons. And yeah, it's called the Button Spirit. They're Basically, they're stickers, though but they're, they look like little buttons. But I like the fact that you can get the stamp and then the coordinating little embellishments all together. So the other thing I bought that I thought was fun are these clover weaving forms. Now, they're basket frames and they're just like cardstock, but the idea is that you can pull, fold them up and then weave them with whatever material you have. It can be fabric strips, t-shirt material, yarn, whatever you want, and you can make these cute little baskets. Now, I saw them when they were out at CHA. I think I got a couple of round ones. Um, and, and they are. They're really cool. And actually, my daughter really liked them. If you have that raffia stuff, there you go. Cute little size, perfect for holding little embellishments, whatever, on your desk. You probably, Linda said, can you cut a template and reuse them? You know what? If you had a scan and cut or a pick mat, you could totally take a picture of it and then do it again. Um, use it over and over again. Make it, make it stencil and use them over and over again. But here's the thing. There are two of these for $4. So that's $2 a basket, which I think is pretty fun. And it's one of those things that my daughter can sit and weave and do and have fun with and then give it to somebody for Mother's Day. Hmm. Okay, so as we move forth, here's something, speaking to my British friends, I picked up one of these, um, again, it doesn't see, it says London, England, with the little Union Jack on it, it's so cute, it's uh, clear plastic in the back, little zipper pouches, I thought that these would be perfect 
for holding tags and pens. So for example, tomorrow morning, I have a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm probably gonna be sitting in the waiting room for a while. So I'm gonna tuck some little goodies in here. And when I've got a minute, I can do a little journaling. I can, you know, do a little collaging and in these with these cute little pouches. Both pouches, $2.99. Love me a bargain. Um, these little canish, how do you say it? Kenzashi flower makers. So we've got, I saw these at CHA again a year ago or so. I never got this particular version and it's a dollar ninety nine. And it's a great way of using up all of your little scrap paper, or not scrap paper, scrap fabric. And you can just make little cute flowers. They've got a cute pillow here on the back. And I'm just a sucker for things that are, first of all, little and portable. So for example, if I wanted to take my little, and then go ahead and put um, this template in and a little bit of fabric, I could sit here and just whip up little cute flowers to use as embellishments on something else. Are they reusable? Absolutely. It's kind of cool because you put the fabric in and then you fold it and it even shows you in the back. You fold your triangle in half and you go through the little hole, stitch one, two, three, four, five, and then open it up, pull the thread and it sucks it into a little flower. <laughs> okay, so, Here's um, another kind of a weird thing that I bought. This is a leather bracelet strap blank, 99 cents. If they had a million of these, I'd have bought them because then I can go ahead and stamp on it. I could sew on it. I could put little fabric embellishments on it and turn it into a leather bracelet. I'm gonna be looking for some more of these. Pretty um, orange color too. So now we get to the part of our program where I got the good bargains. Are you ready? Yes because I got a few of those too. I figured I could add my own leather and bellies. Yeah, right, Gabby? I love them. Okay, Dina Wakely stuff at Tuesday morning. So I got these cute triangle stencils, $1.99, and this is the five by eight size. Wah bam love it. Wonky stencils. Then... -da -da -da. I don't know what this one is called. Oh, it's Staggered Brick Work. Small. I love this one, though. I think that is so cool. Again, $1.99. Now, something a little bit different. Dino Wakely. And it has the little whirly gigs. Now, where I live, I live in Ohio. And we have maple trees all over the place and we call these helicopters or whirly gigs and pretty soon they'll be down everywhere for spring so i thought that was kind of fun as an ohio native that, that i could use that now oh and you played with them as a kid right linda yeah me too now this is something else i got helicopter says cat yes you have them in new jersey of course you do so here's uh something else this is the dino wakely stencil and mask set now i also went with the um, kind of leafy theme and I saw a bunch of these here now I didn't love all of the patterns because they just don't speak to me but there was at least six different patterns and again we've got $1.99 and then you've got both the stencil and the mask that you can use back and forth I love how they tell you don't tear it cut it with scissors but I thought that that would be a lot of fun right there and I think that $1.99 is a great price now this may be my best stuff. I have too much time in my hands. Well, I'm a professional crafter, so it's kind of what I do. Um, Linda says, I wish more companies would leave the mask in. You may find a trend, seeing as how these are really popular. So here's kind of my best deal of the day is this Spellbinders die. They had a lot of them. I didn't buy a bunch. I only bought a few, but this is what I found. And it's got the crown and the little lacy wings. Love it for $4. Guys, you can't buy a sheet of stickers for $4, right? Love it. And then, be, I don't know why I bought this one, but I just couldn't stop myself. This is called Ironwork Accents. There's a lot of goodie in this package. You've got the border, you've got the big circle, you've got the little one that nests inside, this kind of frame, this little, I don't even know what that's called, little, 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 
And then some little like corner things. I, I just think it's adorable. It's called um, the Ironworks and it's six ninety nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies for seven dollars. They would be great with foam metal, Linda. You are correct, ma'am. I might have to try that. Or metal foil tape, right? All right, thanks for watching, Crafty Friends. I know a lot of you on YouTube may not love this format, but I want to make sure I had a chance to share it. If you'd like to participate in the live Periscopes, please find me at Craft Test Dummy on Periscope. And as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a crafty day.